Okay, really interesting exponential equation today, a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130, yeah? And we need to find our x, really interesting exponential equation, and I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay, first of all, 2 and a, different bases on the first side, but if we write this 8 as 2 cube, so if we write this 8 as 2 cube, of course, to the power x and plus 2 to the x equal to 130. Yeah? So the first step, we write this 8 as 2 cube. Nothing hard, I guess, and I hope everyone understand this step. What we're going to do next? We need to know a really interesting power rule because we have like a to the power m raised to the power n. If we have this situation, we can easily write it as a to the power m times n or the rule of interchange a to the power n raised to the power to the power m. Yeah, so we can easily write it in this way. So let's apply this rule right here. Let's swap these powers. So we'll have like 2 to the power x raised to the power 3 plus 2 to the power x equal to 130, yeah? So we have this expression right here. What are we going to do next? We have the same expression, as you can see, we have 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x, so we can easily work with substitution. So let 2 to the power x, for example, equal to y, yeah? Let's go with y. So we have like y cube plus y, and I bring this 130 from right to left hand side. So minus 130 equal to zero, of course. We have cube equation, there are a lot of approaches, how can we solve it, how can we solve this cube equation. I'm going to show you a really interesting approach, because we have like 130, we can write it as 26 times 5, yeah? And moreover, we can write this y as 26y minus 25y. I use this substitution real quick right here, and take a look what will happen, yeah? We have like y cube, I write this y as 20 minus 25y, so minus 25y, plus 26y, yeah? So I write it in this way. And this 130, I leave the same, so 130 equal to zero. And if we group this a little bit, if you factor from here, if you factor uh, like y, and from here, if you factor 26, it will be a really interesting moment because we have like y in parentheses, y square minus 25, yeah? And right here, we will have like plus 26 and in parentheses, y minus five equal to zero. Okay, I hope you understand this. And right now, y square minus 25, if this is the same as y square minus 5 square, which is our identity formula. So we will have like y in parentheses, y minus 5 and times y plus 5. And plus 26, y minus 5, equal to, equal to 0, yeah? Equal to 0, okay. The same y minus 5 and y minus 5, we can easily factor it. So y minus 5, in parentheses from here, we'll have like y times y plus 5, y plus 5, and plus 26, yeah? So the last, yeah? Equal to 0. Right now we have a product, as you can see, we have a product, this one equal to 0, so y minus 5 equal to 0, and this expression equal to 0. This expression can be easily solved, because we can easily multiply this y by y plus 5, so y square plus 5y, and plus 26 equal to 0. So two cases, and of course a lot of solutions right here, maybe two right here, one right here. So first of all, let's find our discriminant real quick. So discriminant, this is equal to b square minus 4ac. Real quick, our abc, so a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and c equal to 26, yeah? If you plug in this, we will have like d equal to b square, like 5 square minus 4 times 1 times 26, which is equal to like 25 minus 104 minus 79, which is less than 0. So we can easily say that right here in this right hand side, we'll have no real, no real roots. Okay, no real roots, two complex roots right here. If you're interested, you can easily solve it. Two complex roots right here, two complex, complex roots. Okay, on the left hand side, what do we have? We have y minus 5 equal to 0, real simple equation, y equal to 5. But if we go in back, 2 to the power x equal to y, right here, 2 to the power x equal to y. So we will have like 2 to the power x equal to 5, yeah? Weird equation, but if you know a little bit about log, you can easily solve it. Let's take log on both sides, so on the left hand side log and on the right hand side log. This x jumps right here as a power, so we have like x log 2 equal to log equal to log 5. This is a constant, we, need, we don't need this constant uh, near our x, so we can easily divide both sides by this log 2 and right here by this log 
log 2. Okay, okay. Our x equal to this expression because from here we can easily cancel this. So log 5 over log log 2. This is our answer to this question. As you can see, no, no like integer root, but we have like a fraction right here. And if you're interested in this, you can easily find approximate approximation to, the, to this answer. And moreover, if you know a really interesting rule, you can write it as log five base of two. Yeah, you can easily write it in this way. You can easily plug it into your calculator because log 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 five from here equal to. 0.699 approximately, yeah, if we divide it by 0.301, this is our log 2, you'll have like approximately answer 2.32. This is our answer if you're talking about approximation, this is our answer if you're talking about solution, this is our x. Really interesting question, I hope you enjoy it, if you do please leave a like, write any comment, I really appreciate it, write what problems we need to solve, what problems do you don't, uh, you don't understand, maybe exponential equation, trigonometrical, it will be really interesting to post a new video for you, yeah? Thank you for watching, see you in the next videos!